Hey guys, Vinos4 here, and this is the basic adventure craft scripting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create scripts, put them in your map, and a few lines of simple code. Before watching this video, it is best to have a basic understanding of JavaScript itself. By Google searching the word JavaScript, the first thing that should appear is www.w3schools.com. This is a great tutorial for JavaScript and teaches you some of the basic stuff as well as more advanced. After that, you should also get a basic understanding of the AdventureCraft variables, functions, objects, and statements by reading through the AdventureCraft Wiki's script guide. By reading through this slowly and with practice, you will find that this page will become one of your best friends in scripting. Another good thing to have open while scripting is the AdventureCraft Wiki's data values page. Not only does it have the data values of all the items as well as their metadatas, it also has other things such as the inventory slot numbers. So by having these two pages open while you script, you'll find it's a lot easier. Even as a scripter who's been scripting for a little over a year, I still find myself referring to this page very often. So after getting that basic knowledge of scripting, you are ready to start making your own scripts. Now, when you create a script, you first have to access your maps folder and in your AdventureCraft folder and go into your map you create a folder called scripts. Now in here this is where all your scripts will go. There are the three basic scripts of AdventureCraft. There's the onload, on new save, and on update. The on new save script will run every time that the player creates a new save of that map. The onload will run when they reload the map and the on update will run every tick while the map is being played. And a tick is run 20 times a second. So the on update script will be run 20 times every second. So I created a small script here. I'll show you what it does. And then I'll go through and explain to you how it works later on. It may seem a little complex at first, but it's actually very simple once you look at the code. Now what this does, I have a stick in my hand. Now when I use this, right now I'm clicking up at the air. It's not doing anything. Now if I look at a block and use the stick, it will give me, it will set my very first slot, which the slot value, slot item number is zero. It will set, set that slot to be whatever item I just clicked. So let's say I click tree wood, it gives me that. Say so click the leaves, it gives me the leaves. I click the grass, it gives me grass. Click the shrub, it gives me a shrub. So on and so forth. Now, if I have an item in this slot and I click away from an item, look up at the sky, it will increase the items data value by one. As you can see, it continuously goes up. And there's some fire. Let's place some fire. There we go. Nice and toasty. So, it's a very basic script. It may sound a little complex at first, but once you see the code, you'll see it is very simple. So let's go see go through and show you. So this is it. This is all this. By naming a script item dash whatever the number of the item ID is Whenever you use that item with that item ID, it'll run whatever code is within that script. You can learn more about this th things such as these from this paragraph on the AdventureCraft wiki page. This teaches you many AdventureCraft, many things about AdventureCraft such as item dash number number dot js, or you can get into metadata using item dash aa dash underscore bb dot js. Now. All this does is uses the hit block variable, which is defined by AdventureCraft itself, which you can also find in this little paragraph if I can find it. Let's see. Hit block. The hit block vari variable will contain the block that was last hit. So if hit block does not equal null, the exclamation point, if statements need two things, so if something Let's say you want it to equal null, you do equal equal null. But I don't want it to equal null, I want it to be not null. So an exclamation point is basically like saying not. So if hit block does not equal null, and null is a statement often used for saying nothing. There's nothing there. So if it doesn't equal null, then we get the player's inventory and we set the slot zero to be the item that is the ID of the block that you hit. I'll just I'll talk more about items in a future video. Right now, we're just going to go over the basics. Now, we define the if statement. So if hit block does not equal null. But if hit block does equal null, 
we'll run the else statement. So if that didn't work, it'll run else. So if it runs else, the else statement here, then it'll do if the player .inventory .get item in slot zero does not equal null. So if there is an item in slot zero, it'll run it'll go run this line of code, which will get the player's inventory. And often player .inventory scripters will assign it the variable var pin. You see pin that usually means player .inventory. However, in this situation, because we only used player .inventory a few times, we to actually give the variable pin player .inventory the value of player .inventory, it would kind of it wouldn't be important. It would be a waste. So player .inventory .set slot. So it's going to set set the slot zero to be whatever item is in is already in slot zero, but its ID value plus one. So it'll go up by one. Now it's the entire script that you saw me run. It's as simple as that. So yeah, there's a very simple script. Now a few things to know about when you are making scripts. Uh save. When you create a new script, a lot of people use Notepad plus plus or something similar, a similar program that is able to read simple code such as JavaScript, C++, or something else. But I personally prefer use the use of the regular Notepad program that is default with all computers. However, this is a little more challenging because it doesn't display colors for variables, quotes, different functions, variables, or anything. And it doesn't label your line, how many lines you have. So for a beginner, I definitely do recommend using something such as Notepad++, which is free to use. So definitely, if you are, consider yourself a beginner, I would consider using that. Now when you create a new script, let's say get Notepad open, and we're going to save it immediately. So save it, it's already going right to my math folder, but let's say it wasn't. You're going to want to find your AdventureCraft folder, mine's on my desktop, go into your AdventureCraft folder, go into your Maps folder, and go into your map and go into the scripts folder that you must create. And now in here we'll go all your scripts. Now let's say we're gonna call this example.js. Now remember, when you create a script, you must put the tag .js at the end. This defines this text document as a JavaScript file and we will be read as JavaScript. So save it. And there you go. Now that went right in there. Now in your maps folder, in your map, remember you have to create the scripts folder to put all your scripts in first. And remember to put it all in lowercase letters. Oh, there that's just about the basics. There's a little more, but it gets a little more advanced from here. AdventureCraft scripting branches off into several different categories, such as modeling, creating items, working with player inventory, working with GUIs and UI sprites and several other things but it all comes down to the basics of JavaScript and scripting in code such as this now when you create a script such as the onload on update or on new save it will have to be put in your map by going in pressing F4 typing T slash config going to your scripts and line and putting the correct script in with the correct script name. Now you should already know how to do this. This is just a tutorial for creating scripts. So that's just about the basics. Thank you for watching and I will be out with a new tutorial for modeling very soon. Thank you.